Many people agree that investing in the S&P 500 or the total stock market and letting compound interest grow is the smartest way to get ready for retirement. But when you actually get to retirement, in order to actually sustain a living, you have to sell off those shares in order to have that income. SCHD has proven a better return over the past 10 years, so its compound interest will be better than the S&P 500. And if you were to amass just one to two million by retirement age, you'd be able to live completely off the the dividends, which means you'd never have to sell a share. And so not only will you be set 100% safe for the rest of your life, but also since you're never touching that principal, you'll be able to hand down that $2 million or more to your kids or grandkids and set your whole family up for continued success. Understanding the concepts of this video is much bigger than just you now. $100,000 might seem like a crazy goal, but every $1,000 that you invest, it starts to get much easier. Because if you're investing in SCHD and you reinvest those dividends, the fund itself starts to help you out and it starts to buy shares without you having to put in any extra money. Pretty soon it'll be buying more shares of itself than you're even able to buy every single month. For example, if you have just $20,000 in SCHD with a current dividend yield of 3.35%, this will produce about $670 of dividend income and with a current share price of $76.91, that means that without you adding any money, SCHD will purchase you nine more shares of itself and now you have $20,670 worth of SCHD. This is what's known as the dividend snowball because each year it gets bigger and bigger like a snowball rolling down a snowy hill and eventually it grows like crazy. So this video is going to explain not only why $100,000 in SCHD should be your goal, but also how you can get there relatively quickly with three huge tips that I use to get my first $100,000 invested. My name is Nolan Gobea, my students call me Professor G, and I made this channel to make investing simplified. Since SCHD's inception in 2011, which includes last year, which the whole stock market had a terrible year. Even including that, SCHD had an average annual appreciation every year of 13.82%. This beats the total stock market and the S&P 500 over that time period and makes it one of the strongest ETFs that we have. So if you have invested $100,000 in SCHD and you never invest another dollar into the account ever in 10 years, you'd have $364,910. If you never wanted to add another dollar to this investment and just receive the dividends forever, like an extra paycheck, you'd get $12,224 per year or about $1,000 per month forever. Now in 20 years, remember, you're not adding another single dollar to that original $100,000. In 20 years, you'd have $1,331,593, which would give you $44,680 dollars per year in dividends or about three thousand seven hundred and seventeen dollars per month in 30 years your investment will have grown to four million eight hundred and fifty nine thousand one hundred and seventeen dollars and the dividends off that would be a hundred and sixty two thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars per year thirteen thousand five hundred and sixty five dollars per month that's in just pure dividends to live comfortably off of every single month forever. And since you never have to sell any of the original shares that you bought in SCHD, just like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you'd be able to then hand down that whole $5 million to your children or grandchildren to set them up. Remember, now all of this is just that if you went ham and you did everything you could to get $100,000 into SCHD as fast as possible. So if you were able to get that $100,000 in there, but then you continue to add a little bit of your paycheck every single month, you'd just be able to double or triple this amount faster and be able to retire quicker. So SCHD seeks to track the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. SCHD is a market cap weighted 
dividend-weighted fund whose selection only includes firms with a 10-year history of paying dividends. The objective is to focus on quality companies with sustainable dividends. Because of the fund's very strict company stock picking, it only has 103 holdings, and they're all extremely safe companies that are widely considered value stocks. The reason why I love SCHD so much, not necessarily because of its return during the bull market when everything was doing well, but the reason why this is one of my top, if not the top ETFs in my portfolio is because of how it's doing right now in a down market. Over the last year, the total stock market was down 6.51%. Over that same period, SCHD was only down 0.56%, and all the while still paid its very nice dividend. For me, as a long-term investor, it's very important to find ETFs that will sustain long-term whether it's good or bad. Because if you're looking to retire and live off of this at some point solely, it's very important to find one that doesn't flop when everything else does. SCHD has a current price of $76.91, an expense ratio of only 0.06%, and a dividend yield of about 3.35%. Like I said before, it has an average yearly appreciation of over 13%, which is just insane. They have super solid companies in their top 10, such as Broadcom, Verizon, Home Depot, Lockheed Martin, and Coca-Cola. The sectors are quite balanced and diversified highly as well, with information technology and financials as their top two. So now at this point, it's very easy to see why this fund is amazing, and I'm sure that those numbers at the beginning definitely excited you. The only thing left to do now is get to that goal of $100,000 invested into SCHD. And I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that it's gonna be easy, but it's definitely doable, especially with these three tips. Number one is going to be to automate your paycheck. This one will change your life. It's gonna take a little bit of time and effort to be able to set this up, but once you do, everything's gonna fall into place. I actually have no idea what I get paid every month in my paycheck as a professor because as soon as it's paid to me, I already have it broken up and it's already sending money in places that I've set previously. Psychologically, our brains work in a way where if we see a certain amount of money that's able to spend, we probably are gonna spend it or at least we'll do everything we can to try to spend it. So for me, if I only see $500 in my checking account, I know for that month, that's how much I have to spend on things like meals out or coffee or clothing or something. If you lie to yourself and think Think, okay, I'm gonna throw this whole paycheck in there, but I'm only gonna take a piece of that out and spend it on fun things. It just doesn't work. Ask yourself if that's working right now. There's a reason why more than ever, people that are making over six figures are saying that they're living paycheck to paycheck. So in this step is what they mean when they say, pay yourself first. Figure out what you can set aside for investing and what you can live off of with the rest of your money and just make it happen before that money even hits your bank account. Nowadays, through direct deposit, there's ways that you can actually cut up your paycheck. And I know personally at my job, you can set it so that like 50% goes to the Chase account and then 20% goes to the Charles Schwab and 10% goes to this savings account. I promise you, if you get this done ahead of time, you're just going to magically have so much more money to invest with. I'd say a good amount to start with is at least 10% of your paycheck. But I know for me, I'm investing about 40 to 50% at this point. The second thing that you need to do that's definitely not gonna be easy but is going to absolutely get you to this goal so much faster is to figure out what you can cut out immediately and then transfer that money to investing. An easy one here that really adds up is eating meals out. That could easily save you an extra $100 to $150 per week, which amounts to $400 to $600 per month that can go into this investing account and start earning that compound interest. Remember that this is a two-part step. A lot of people that I work with do an okay job of cutting out that initial thing, but then somehow by the end of the month, that extra money that they actually got from it somehow didn't make it to the investment account. Again, just like step number one, that psychology of money is that if you see it and it's there free, it's gonna be very hard not to spend it. And number three, this one will change your life if you do exactly what I say and follow these steps. You'll be able to build the life that you've always dreamed of and quit that nine to five 
drive and be able to do what you actually want to do. And number three is all about increasing that income. One quick way to do this might be to switch companies. Even if you're working the exact same job, same exact position, on average, just switching to a new company gives you a 10 to 20% pay raise. But even then, that's not that crazy in comparison to what you could make if you start a side hustle that you can actually do and actually sustain. I'm a firm believer that everyone should have a side hustle, but not just any side hustle, the exact side hustle that's going to be best for you personally. I built a couple side hustles up to over $100,000 a year doing these things that I talk about in this video. And I also give you examples of things my students are doing and other friends and family are doing that's making them a crazy amount of money. I also go over how much money I've made from YouTube so far. So if you're curious, watch this video now and let me know what side hustle you're going to be starting.